I have reason to believe that FCC Chairman Ajit Pai feeds on and powers himself with human suffering and fear, much like the interdimensional creature Pennywise from Stephen King's It. <laughs> because there's literally no other good reason not to support net neutrality. And there's some other clues too. First clue, prison phones. There was an FCC vote in 2013 to put a limit on how much prison phone companies were allowed to charge inmates to call outside prison. Pi voted against it. Pi's side lost and the cap was implemented. But when President Trump appointed Pi chairman of the FCC, Pi got in touch with the DC District Court and argued that the FCC didn't have the power to make that decision. He took the power away from his own agency because his side lost making sure fathers in jail for nonviolent drug offenses are paying enough money to call their children. Rates can go up to $14 a minute. The cap would have limited them to 12 cents. <laughs> During the Obama administration, the FCC made rules expediting how fast rural areas get access to acceptable internet connections. This year, Pi worked to destroy those rules by arguing that cell phone service is enough to get by with for millions of Americans. The internet's not a luxury anymore, it's an essential utility, and Pi fought to leave rural Americans without it. Pi now uses those same rural Americans as an argument to justify destroying net neutrality. He claims net neutrality stops ISPs from serving those areas because it becomes not a viable investment. That's just not true. Broadband investment actually went up after the FCC approved net neutrality in 2015, and ISPs have even admitted to their own investors that it's not a problem. Pretty much every analyst says net neutrality is essential to a free and open internet, an internet not controlled by corporate interests, an internet like the one we have today. Just like Pennywise's curse on the town of Derry, every time you think resistance to net neutrality is dead, it mysteriously returns, over and over again, striking fear into the hearts of everyone who relies on the internet. And even when Pi does something good, he's still like Pennywise. His FCC approved a Google plan to literally send balloons into the stratosphere to provide emergency internet to Puerto Rico post-hurricane. Sure, this theory is absurd, but I've been struggling to figure out why anyone wouldn't support net neutrality. Pi did once work for Verizon, which has a vested interest in destroying net neutrality, and he also represented a prison phone company in court as a lawyer. Interdimensional demons aren't real, but money and political influence are. <laughs>